Hey everyone, it's your host Julia back with another mini sode of the Ethical Consumer Podcast. And today I would like to share with you a book recommendation. And I have just finished this book for the third time and I will definitely be reading or listening to it again. First time I went through it, I read it on my Kindle and the second and third times I listened to it via audiobook. And this is Atomic Habits by James Clear. And I was listening to it this last time. I was thinking this is really, really applicable for starting to create more sustainable habits and eco-friendly habits in your life. Sometimes we create these lofty goals like I'm going to cut this out of my life completely right away, cold turkey. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to do this every day. And sometimes they're achievable goals and habits that we can actually create. And sometimes we bite off a little bit more than we can chew. It becomes too challenging, too hard. It's not attractive. It's not attainable. And then we just fall off that habit completely. I really enjoyed, and I think this is probably one of the biggest takeaways from this book. There are so many. Please go read it, and I'm sure I'll be doing more mini-sodes like this around creating more eco-friendly and sustainable habits. But the number one thing that stood out to me was a statistic, (laughs) numbers, a quantifiable thing, because you can't always quantify your journey into creating more sustainable habits and leading a more sustainable lifestyle. It's not the number of things you recycle. It's not the number of things you don't buy. It's the small actions that you take every day. James Clear calls this the idea of continuous improvement and that we should strive to continuously improve even just 1% every day, because 1% is a very sustainable habit. That's something that we can do. It's not that large lofty goal that we're not gonna achieve, we're gonna feel guilty or bad about, and then decide, well, that was too hard, I guess I'm never gonna be able to do that. It's something something small, it's something digestible. The thing that struck me the most was after a year, you are 37.78 times better than when you started. That is a whole lot. There is a companion chart to this book online. I will go ahead and post it here so that you can see. I'm a very visual person and to see that spike, to see that growth, that's pretty significant. And you don't think of 1% every day as being a lot. This graph indicates otherwise. Now the opposite direction which you can see is if you got 1% worse every day. And you are not necessarily that much worse than when you started. According to this math, according to this chart, you are 0.03 times worse than when you first started. But you look at look at that median, look, that middle line. Okay, so if we're getting exponentially better, look at that difference. If we're getting exponentially worse, is it that much worse? No, I suppose not. But That's not the point. (laughs) Think about 1%. 1% doesn't seem like anything. It should be so easy to implement, but why don't we? Because it's not this large, lofty, impressive, romanticized goal. This doesn't have to be a huge lifestyle change. This can be small changes every single day. Maybe you're going to the store on your lunch break and you're finding a beverage. Maybe you start looking for the bottles that are in glass instead of plastic. Maybe that's your 1% switch. Maybe you find something new that you like to drink better than the previous thing that you could get in a plastic bottle. Or maybe you download a new app and you use that app to see what sustainable restaurants are in your area. This isn't necessarily something that a lot of people are doing right now, at least not in the Midwest winter where I live and we're still in a pandemic. But if you know you're having people over on the weekend and there's a farmer's market that morning or the night before, try to get as much as you can at the farmer's market. Sometimes buying organic, buying local can be more expensive. So maybe save that splurge for a special occasion that you're serving your guests the best thing that you can find, or you get to share with them, this is the farm that I got this from, it's just down the road, I talked to the guy this morning. I always like hearing about where my food comes from, not everyone does, not everyone cares, but I think more people care than you think. And as soon as you start to make those small changes and get others to jump on board and start to notice, I think a lot more people will start caring too. In addition to this idea of continuous improvement, he shared a couple tools that can help with this 1% better. What does this 1% better every day mean? And I'm not going to go into all of them, but the first one I'd like to share with you, and that is do more of what already works. Habits work when they're attainable, 
when they're small enough that you know you can do them, easy enough that you'll be able to do them, but hard enough you do have to think about it. That's another part in that book. Really guys, you just need to go read this book because it's excellent. Do more of what already works. What are you already doing that you could just do slightly more of? Or what have you done in the past that maybe you stopped doing, you forgot about, that you could implement into your life again? You do not have to reinvent the wheel. Chances are you've done something in the past or are doing something with a little more infrequency that you could. Just add those in first. Small steps make a really big difference. I hope this has not only inspired you to check out that book, I really very highly recommend it. I've recommended it to a few friends recently as they've already started and they're loving it already and I know a couple other friends that have it on their list to read in the future and I hope you're one of them. And if you do or if you have read it, let me know what your favorite part was. I hope to do a couple more of these mini-sodes detailing a few more habit tips and tricks that you can implement from this book and a couple other books that I'm reading or have on my to-do list too. If you think there's something that I should be reading, let me know. I'm definitely open to suggestions. That's it guys. Keep getting 1% better every single day and we'll be 37. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you next time.